video, I'm going to show you how to use a mobile device like a flip Chromebook to broadcast your screen to your LED in your classroom. To start out, we need to log into Annotate on the mobile device. So let's go ahead and do that now. If you watched the earlier video about how to sign up for Annotate, you'll know that we set it up to be able to log in using Google. That's what we want to do. It's one click and you're logged in. Once we're logged in on the mobile device, we're actually going to set it down and we're going to go to the device that's connected to our LED. So on the LED connected device, we're going to open up a browser and we've got to set up the Annotate Chrome client. This is a step you'll do one time and then it'll be a lot faster after that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a web address called annotate.net forward slash Chrome client light. I put a link to it down in the notes and also uh, up here on the screen right now. Once we go to that website, you'll notice it's again asking you to sign in to Annotate. It's important that we use the Google sign-in. Once it's made the link, we need to go ahead and bookmark this page. Because once you do that, all you'll need to do in the future is click one time and go there. If it asks you to sign into your Google account the first time you click this, that's okay. Just go ahead and select your GCS account, put in your password, and hit sign in. So we're going to bookmark this, and if you don't know how to bookmark in Chrome, you simply go up here, click the star, make sure it says bookmarks bar, and click done. Now you'll notice we've got a shortcut to it up here, so anytime you want to broadcast from Annotate, you'll simply need to go on this computer, click that shortcut, and it will take you to this page. So now we're going to go back to our mobile device. On your mobile device, you need to go ahead and select whatever presentation you want to present. I'm going to pick this one on the 90s because who doesn't like the 90s? So I'm ready to present this. So just like before in Annotate, I go up here to the Present button, and I click it. But as you'll notice, where I used to have to go and put the code in, I now get this screen that says desktop projector. We need to make sure that's checked and then start. And when I click start on this device, you'll notice that up here, I get the OK screen. I don't have to punch in the course pin or anything like that. I just click OK. And now I'm controlling this remote device. So you'll see that if I go forward a slide, it advances the slide here. Also, I can flip the Chromebook around, and I can take a pencil or a stylus, depending on your model, and I can select a pen color, and I can make notes. I can pick the highlighter, and I can highlight important parts of the document. I can even pick the laser pointer and point out certain things without marking on the presentation. Once you're finished, on the mobile device, you simply hit the button up in the top left hand corner and you will stop projecting and it will go back to the Annotate client screen. As long as you keep this tab up, you can broadcast to it from your mobile device at any time. Thank you.